okay dear students so in this question a tennis ball is released from rest <clears throat> it is released from less rest it means uh, the initial velocity with the ball is zero and falls vertically through a small distance in air what is the change in speed of the ball and change in acceleration of the ball as it falls down so it is a clear cut case of a freely falling body uh, like this like let us say this is the building and a ball is released from this point and it starts falling in such a way that the initial velocity is zero obviously it will be acted upon by the force that is weight so it is acted upon by gravity it would be getting acceleration due to gravity it will be g and velocity will definitely increase because as it will fall the velocity is bound to increase so it will increase now about the acceleration of the ball if the resistance by the air or the air drag or the viscous force is neglected the ball will be acted upon by the acceleration due to gravity which is constant which will not change so it would be acted upon by the acceleration due to gravity and it will not change it will be constant value but because the air resistance is not neglected now see in the question it is not given that air resistance is considered or it is neglected it's not given here but if it is neglected the acceleration due to gravity should be constant and that will be the acceleration of the ball so it will be constant it will neither increase nor decrease but the constant uh, is not there in the options so it means air drag is definitely considered if we are considering the air drag then i must tell that the viscous force acting on spherical body is given by 6 pi eta r v which is known as stokes law which is very famous when we are studying uh, uh, the fluid mechanics okay but if we are not studying that then it is generally given that you consider it as a constant k and it is directly proportional to the velocity of the ball k is any constant and this viscous force is directly proportional to v so as the velocity increase as the ball falls down and velocity keeps on increasing the drag force keeps on increasing the upward force is acting against the weight so it means the f net is reduced what is f net f net is weight minus fv now as the velocity is increasing with respect to time the fv is also increasing it means the f net is reducing Initially, F net is mg when velocity is zero, but after some time, F net is mg minus Fv, which after some time will become zero, and that velocity is known as terminal velocity. But anyways, so the velo the force is reducing. It means acceleration will decrease. Okay, there is a complete uh, topic about this, uh, which is about the Stokes law and terminal velocity. So the curious students can further search for Stokes law and terminal velocity and the terminal velocity is the velocity when the F net becomes zero effectively that is the final velocity that would be gained by the ball. But anyways for our question the answer will be A. The speed of the ball will keep on increasing up to some point after it it will become constant but initially it will increase and acceleration will keep on decreasing. The maximum value will be gravity and it will decrease and it will become zero after some time when the terminal velocity is attained. So with this, let us verify our answer by the mark scheme. And yes, the answer given is A. So all the best. Bye.